we are going to see how are we going to solve a new class of problem called the semantic segmentation problem. So now, what is a semantic segmentation problem? Take this example, which, uh, which is in your screen. You have an MRI image on the left side, and then you have a mask on the right side. What this mask is actually seeing, the mask is seeing wherever the little yellow dots are, that's where the tumor is, right? So you take an MRI of a, of a, uh, MRI image of a person, and then this model detects in that particular MRI image where the tumor is located, right? This is very different from a classical image classification paradigm. In what ways? In an image classification problem, if you have a similar problem, so what we try to do is we try to predict whether the whether the, whether the image has a tumor or not. It's an yes or no question. Okay, or, or rather say probability of having a tumor, right? So in this case, the goal is not to predict whether a tumor is there or not in the image. The goal is to classify every single pixel in the image, whether it is a tumor or not, right? Those yellow color pixels are, are, are the actual tumors and the background is the normal cells, right? This is the goal of an image segmentation problem. In this case, what we have is a binary classification, meaning it can be, every pixel can be a tumor or a background, right? So, but there could be other scenarios where there could be multiple uh, multi-class problems also in semantic segmentation. For example, take this image. This is the scenery of a road. The road has a lot of objects. For example, you have the sky, you have the road, you have the pedestrians, and you have other cars in front of you, right? So all we need to do is, we need to identify all these objects separately. How do we go about and do this? So let's say we have 10 classes, right? 10 such classes. So we need to have 10 such maps or 10 such masks. So what are these masks? These masks will tell you, given an image, where are the locations where the car is? That will be a car mask. And where the pedestrians are, that will be explained by the pedestrian mask. So if you have 10 classes, you will have 10 such masks. The goal of the problem then would be to predict all those 10 masks, right? So, so let's go back to the binary uh, image segmentation problem. Here we have an image. Let's say the image can be a, a black and white image or a, a, or a grayscale image or a color image, right? But uh, let's say we have an image uh, which has a dimension of 512 by 512. The mask will also have to be a matrix of 512 by 512. All, but, but all the values would be zeros or ones. Okay, wherever the tumor is, that particular pixels will be one, the re remaining pixels would be zero. So our goal is to predict a, predict a mask, which, has a, which is a collection of pixel values with zeros and ones, right? So, so why is this important? Why is semantic segmentation so important? Because in, in, in these cases like, uh, uh, like uh, medical, medical images, just, just knowing whether the tumor is there or not is not sufficient. We need to know where exactly the tumor is located, right? We also know the extent of the tumor. Just putting a bounding box around this tumor is not sufficient. The bounding box can cover places where there is where there are healthy tissues are, right? We don't want that. We want to exactly pinpoint where the tumor is. Okay, that's why we need to have a special class of problems called semantic segmentation problem to deal with such cases. Right? Now, of late, we have a lot of new architectures coming up uh, which solve these kind of problems. We are going to see a couple of them and use one of those uh, latest approaches to solve a similar problem.